Hello, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a few of the ways to create events in Fathom Analytics. And note that this is not all the ways to collect events for your website with Fathom. It's just a few examples like link clicks, forms, and page loads. And I'm going to show you how to do this in WordPress and in just a static site with HTML. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your website has the Fathom embed code present and loading and working perfectly. So if I go to the website and I hit refresh and I go back to the Fathom dashboard, I can see that there's one person, that's me, I'm testing it so I know that this works perfectly. Um, I will say to make sure that if you have your own visits your own IP address blocked from your website, you might want to turn that off if you're testing events, because if you're blocking yourself, you won't be able to see events come through. So with that out of the way, we know that our Fathom embed code is working. We can move on to events. So the next thing is to make sure that your events code or script for events appear after your embed code. The easiest way to do this is to load your Fathom embed code in the head of your page code and then load all of the events after or inline. So if we look at just a static HTML site, we can see the our embed code is right here and then we'll add our events code down here. And then if we're in WordPress and we use the plugin, then that's already going to be loading the embed code in the header. So now let's look at adding an event to a link click. So I'll just go to any page in WordPress and there's a link here. So I'll click on this and I'll just go to edit HTML. And so from here, we can just add in the events code. So I'm just going to paste it here, but this is what it is. So it's just on click equals this. And this can be anything you want. So you can name this an event. You can name this like link to file. You, you can call this whatever you want. So for now, let's just call it button click. And then we'll click update. And then we'll preview the page here. So this link now has that on click code for an event. So if we click it once, that took us to the home page. And then if we go to our dashboard and refresh it, we can see that there's now an event called button click. And there was one unique because I'm a unique person and there was one completion because I clicked it one time, right? So that's how you would add an event um, that's a link. And if we just look in the static site, we would do basically the same thing. We would paste this here and I'm getting this from just our documentation here. So I just copy and paste event as links and I'm just copying this JavaScript code and I'm pasting it right here. And then if I save it and look at it here, then that would appear if we view these, if we inspect this here, we can see that it's present. So that's how you add an event to a link, which seems pretty straightforward, I hope. So now let's look at how we would do that on a form. So say we have a form here, we've got some HTML for a form and we want to create an event in Fathom every time this form is submitted. So what we'll do very similar to the link click for Fathom track events is just add some JavaScript code here to the form. So on submit, it's going to track this event in Fathom called form submit. And that's all, that's, that's all you got to do. And if you wanted to change this to something else, you could say like newsletter sign up, or it could be for, it could be whatever you want. And if you, whatever you name it here is then what shows up in your analytics for the site that you've got the embed code on and it will name it what you've named it here in your events list here. And so that's how you do a form submit. So finally, I'll show you how to do a page load in Fathom. So every time a specific page loads, it not only tracks a page load, but it also tracks a event because the page has loaded. And this is mostly useful for things like e-commerce where people, if they've purchase something from you, they're taken to a thank you for buying page or something like that. And you can usually add a bit of code to that page. And then you can add a fathom event to that page and you can track an event for just that page loading. So if we're doing a page load, then we would want to come down to just before the end of the body tag and add in this code. 
So it would be the window at event listener and then the fathom track event. And this, remember, you can name it whatever you want. So if this was an e-commerce site, you could say checkout completed or product purchased or whatever you wanted. So that is what our event code is for loading a page. If we go to the page that that code is on and hit refresh and then go to our dashboard, you can see that there is a product purchase now, which is the name here. So that when the page loads becomes an event in Fathom and it shows up here. So that's how you do a link event, a form submission event, and a page load event in Fathom. And it's fairly straightforward. You don't have to, as in the previous version of Fathom, go into Fathom and create an event and then add the code to your website. You can add it directly to your website and whatever you name the event here is what shows up on your Fathom dashboard here under events. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.